Hey, welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here and you're an automotive technician, I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks that hopefully help you make more money and be more efficient. And if you're a customer of one of these technicians, you're gonna get an insight into what we do on a daily basis to fix your vehicle. So I hope you enjoy the next video. Alright guys, today's flash is on the 2007 Honda CRV with a 2.4 liter. This uh, screen capture was actually recorded early 2017. Although the rewrite software is now part of IHDS, the process is nearly identical. So make sure, just like all flashes, we start with a clean power supply and a work area free of clutter. You don't want to be tripping over the cables. Uh, for Honda of this era and most Hondas, 13.5 uh, volts is what I would recommend for your flashing voltage and be sure to use a voltage stable power supply not a amperage stable power supply. So when you open up the J2534 rewrite software for Honda it's going to give you some information on the version of the software you're using, the database update, the database version and calibration files, and then some generic warnings that uh, should be shared across all makes, in my personal opinion. I don't think it's ever a good idea to do a J2534 reflash over a wireless connection to the vehicle. If you select Start, it gives you some of the same information again, just a condensed version. So go ahead and click Next, and then it gives you your warning about using a battery booster while programming the vehicle. Some generic instructions on connecting. So we'll click Next. This is going to bring up the menu that uh, searches the vehicle for different modules that have a flash. This particular one only has the PGMFI, so we'll just select that before it finishes. This gives us our current programming ID, the available system that is available for update, the program ID that's currently on that, uh, and the part number that's currently associated with that program ID, and then some model and update information. This vehicle is for a P0128 specifically. After you select Next, it gives you your final press Enter before it actually starts the flash process. Once you select Enter, it actually starts the flash. Now, as I already stated, this was for a P0128. This vehicle had freeze frame data and actual diagnostic data backing up that we needed to complete this flash before we went any further with this particular diagnostic considering how intermittent the code was. After the flash is complete it'll ask you to cycle the key off. So we'll do that and then it will give you a 60 second timer to cycle the key back on. This is just providing your power down and power up of the module basically like a restart. After that's completed it gives you a uh, little notice showing what the previous program ID and the current program ID are. From here you can click print. If you do that it will give you a printout to give to the customer but it, uh, it appears like it's written on notepad so there's nothing really special about this report. Now it does say at the top to press enter when completed. That's just the system button. From that point it will recheck the system for updates should give you a message stating that uh, this vehicle does not need an update at this time. If all the modules are completed, that's what you'll get. So there you go. Honda is pretty simple. All right, I hope you liked the video. And if you did, you'll probably like this video or even this video. And remember, subscribe, comment below, tell me what you didn't like about it or what kind of videos you'd like to see next, and hit the bell icon. That way you get a notification every time I make a new video, which is almost weekly now. So see you next time.